Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey all, today you're by me, Daniel, and I'm just talking to you guys about a few things here and there. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is uh, my YouTube channel that I have, and also this video was streamed on Twitch. Um, at the moment, I've been looking at some of the copper stuff at the moment and wondering whether, you know, if my stuff will... Um, apply to those laws and things like that uh, but I'll delve into that a little bit later um, in this video and, and, and may have a video later on if things get um, affected by that as well um, so yeah today I'm doing the last parts of uh, my creature here um, I've had I've had some fe feedback since I've actually uh, finished it and I, I showed it to some people on a discord server and they could take that and yeah you know um it's it was very helpful to do that and after getting those critiques um i'm going to edit it a little bit further at some point um it's still you know trying to uh get some stuff done at the moment i've got page um six of my book I'm up to at the moment um, I think it's page six so I've got another six or seven to go I think um, yeah today I pretty much wanted to talk like more about like setbacks and and falls and you know how I over how overcome them and and things like that um, I've had you know many setbacks and falls as I say um, I mean I've had them most my life of course you know you always whoever you are you know listening to this um, even the top artists or everyone has setbacks and falls of some sort um, some uh, some people have more than others and and, and obviously some had bigger ones, bigger uh, setbacks or bigger falls um, that stopped them on their journeys, on their goals. Uh, some, you know, setbacks, for instance, people that are working with course. Um, some setbacks are getting sicker, sick a lot, uh, really set them back a lot, and eventually, you know, they stopped going to course or stopped course because of their health. Um, some it's you know financial um they're looking for work and you know they've dropped out because they found work um and the course isn't working out but um it obviously wasn't for them and there's lots of setbacks especially like if you're doing course or doing some sort of studies or something um there are a lot of things that get in the way you know you've got to pay the bills you've got to um, make sure your house are right. Um, you know you can't <laughs> work while you're sick. Sometimes I mean, for me, painting and illustrating, um, I can kind of paint when I'm sick. It depends on, um, yeah, how bad I am. I've said it in another video. You know, I can, but it just depends on how bad I am. Um, I was just been sick on two days ago. Um, and then, you know, yes, the uh, yesterday, um, I was just recovering, so I had, a, I just slept most of the day, um, and, and then I got to do about two hours of painting, um, so, you know, I still got some painting done that day, I didn't get much done, but I got some done, um, you know, I was just recovering and still getting, I'm still fully recovering now actually I'm uh, just back to um, you know full health at the moment <laughs> I've just got to um, keep eating and keep nutrition up and all that stuff and get back to square one um, which would be great but there's always those things happening like I get sick or um, yeah I mean for one week or something um, when I was just starting out my job, uh, I had to, you know, have a sick day, like, on my second week or something, because I was 
pretty sick. <laughs> I couldn't work at all. Um, and that meant, you know, having the day of not getting paid for that day, getting paid some other way or something. Um, but, it, yeah, it was a little bit of a setback. It it was hard. I, d I didn't get any illustration done that day because I was sick. Um, but, you know, I coped with that. I got through things in the end. I got through it. Um, you know, the next day I was back at work. Then I came home did some painting or something. Um, probably not much. And then I went to bed and recovered for the next day. Um, and then, you know, later on did some painting. And, you know, for some of my projects, my big projects at course um, that I was doing, you know, there would be those times that I'd get sick. Um, sometimes they were real lucky because it was like in the holidays, so like with the holidays, um, if I got sick in the holidays it was kind of alright because then I could, um, you know, rest up, sleep, um, and, you know, get myself to, to 100% health, and then like go 100% force on my coursework, uh, when I'm full health, make things better and get me through it. Um, Sometimes I didn't get that opportunity. I was sick and then, like, I had to work through it, you know. Um, usually, you know, if I was sick, I wouldn't go to course or something. But um, most days, you know, I uh, try my best to <laughs> get to course. But it depends on how I feel. If I'm sick, I'll stay home. But um, usually I didn't really get sick on the, the weekdays. But usually it was like weekends or something. Uh, which was kind of good because, you know, I can recover on the weekend, get some stuff done. Um, I know I wouldn't get a lot of stuff done that weekend, but I, I make sure I get what I needed done for, you know, the the week ahead. And then the week after, I would put full force into doing stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it comes with, you know, life comes with all these falls and um, these setbacks. Um, um, at the moment, I'm a, uh, I'm a little bit worried about this copper thing, um, coming up on YouTube. If you don't know what it is, it's basically, um, you know, if you create children's content of any sort, um, you have to declare that you are creating it or not creating it, depending on what you're doing. Um, and, you know, you can, you know, can face fines if, like you do say that you're not creating children's content when in fact you are um and you know the complications of things if you do create kids content you'll lose like comments on your your videos and all sorts of other things which you know monetization and, and stuff like that won't lose monetization completely just won't have like personalized ads and things um which is going to be really hard for a lot of um channels as well not just you know mine i mean for me i'm not a really big channel at the moment i don't have monetization um i do want to keep comments because i do like to hear what you guys say um you know what you know questions that i I ask at the end of the videos and things like that. I do like to hear if there's any replies and things like that. Um, it's real awesome. And I don't create this content for kids as such. Um, there are obviously some things in there like children's books and, and um, creatures that may appeal to children. But they are not content for children you know my content is for illustrators and creative people um you know teenagers and above that are wanting to get into the industry want to know some um real truths about it from myself and other illustrators out there trying to make a living um yeah just getting more knowledge from um, other audiences and to encourage all you guys to you know keep creating keep illustrating you know um, 
no matter what like troubles you go through there you know it's um I want to you know tell the truth it's not you know it's not easy to be an illustrator or creative person and, and keep painting all the time um even if you're like really really passionate about it it does become challenging I mean for me I I absolutely adore illustration um creating creatures creating my own kind of stories and worlds uh so it is easy to for me to keep going and keep um being like I want to create this next thing um but there are challenging pushbacks like um me at the moment I have to work full time job so I only get a certain amount of hours a week to do my illustration stuff um these videos that I've got going on at the moment like these YouTubes fine artists to chat to and, and discuss the stuff with um yeah and there's setbacks like uh for instance having not having someone on these videos to chat to every week um which is fine but it doesn't stop me making a video um and you know weekly videos you know sometimes i've had for instance a couple of months back i've had a problem like i lo was sick and i almost lost my voice kind of a thing um i was sounding like really really croaky and i hadn't done my weekly video yet it was like sunday or something and i was like i can't record it today i tried and i was like no nah, i can't record it then i tried on monday and i was like oh no i'm close but not close enough so i had to absolutely leave it till tuesday night and i managed to get it okay it wasn't like the best but it was a video good that i got out there i think it was okay quality wasn't the best um it is probably one of the worst out of the all the weekly tips um i i felt like i did deliver something though it was still you know i still i'm so happy that it's out there um but yeah i could have done better um if i had a little bit more time and there's a lot of those kind of things those um things that i've done in the past with all my coursework and stuff like that that i've ran out of time so i've got to have it as finished as i can um but i would like to delve further in some of them um but unfortunately i didn't have the time um yeah and you know those setbacks i just kept um like pushing it you know with that me having that croaky voice um i decided oh i'll do it the next night you know it might be it's going to be really tight you know i'd have tuesday to actually record it tuesday night to actually record it put it up on youtube um get it all sussed on youtube and ready to upload for wednesday night um so it was really tight that i had to have it finished that night had to have it all sussed and everything um so you know with that but there are some things i can do to stop that as well like um have record a couple of weekly tips or something um would help if i had a couple of weekly tips to go um that's challenging to do um for me because you know i also want to in that time i could um I'm recording those weekly tips I could be like painting or illustrating or doing something um productive as well so it can cut into that time so it, it all depends on what time I've got um plus for that to you know me to be able to record a that you know short sketch thing that I do every week the weekly tips um you know my daughter has to be asleep um pretty much for me to be able to record it um so you know it depends uh what's happening you know i might have time today at the moment to do some of those i might actually end up um trying to record a couple this weekend at least two and just get ahead of it 
um, just for a wee bit, get a little bit ahead, so that, you know, if that does happen, um, you know, it's okay. The uh, same kind of thing happened to me this weekend, you know, last night I wasn't feeling too great, so it was like, oh, I just, you know, push back and, and record this video today, because, you know, um, I'm not feeling that great, I'll probably feel better tomorrow, um, so that's what I did, and it's worked out alright, you know, today I'm feeling better, this talk would be better than it would have been yesterday, you know, um, so, you know, I decided on that, and it's worked out for the better, um, but yeah, with every kind of pushback and, and fall, you have to, you know, deal with it, um, a lot of people, or, well, I'm not saying a lot of people, but, you know, most people have trouble, like, dealing with some setbacks and some falls, um, that they have in their life, you know, whether someone's passed away, or, um, or you get really sick, or someone you know gets really sick, or, you know, these falls and troubles that you have in life, um, you know, there's no, obviously, one way to deal with it, um, but, you know, there's a lot, um, of people that struggle to, to deal with it and get their life on track, um, when they're going through those things, um, and that's, you know, that's just life, you know, I've struggled with a few things in my life that have, that have had happen, and, um, I got through them, you know, I, um, kept illustrating, kept creating, um, it was, you know, hard, but I got through it, and, you know, now I can't stop illustrating or creating, um, you know, it, I would have falls, but eventually, you know, it, it comes back to it, you know, I may have, you know, I may have, like, two weeks away somewhere, you know, where I've done it, my computer, or my tablet, or anything, um, but if I bring a sketchbook in those times, I'll be drawing, basically, <laughs> I'll just be sketching through my sketchbook the whole time, um, but it would be tr trouble if I did it now, because I'd have to have, like, two weeks worth of videos, um, on my YouTube channel, ready to go, just upload when they are designated to upload, so already up there, um, secretly published, or whatever, privately published, but ready to actually publish on those days, I'd have to do that if I'd had two weeks off somewhere or something, I mean, I would consider doing that, I'm thinking, like, maybe I could, um, if, because I want to maybe go out of New Zealand somewhere, probably Canada or something, um, explore the country, probably, like, see if I can go to, like, align it so I can go to like a schoolism workshop, um, maybe a music band or something, you know, align it to see if I can go to those kind of events, um, in those like two weeks or something, if I was to do that I'd probably have on my YouTube channel two weeks worth of videos already updated and loaded, ready to go and have them upload so when I get back, um, I'll just plus an extra, so I just have to record, maybe I might have some video or something of me on my tour or something to put up or something, but yeah, I would pretty much, I would, you know, um, deal with that thing, you know, these setbacks comes like if I need to go somewhere for a week or Christmas, I'm away for a few days or, um, things like that, uh, that, you know, taking away from me actually being able to paint or something like that, that's a little bit of a setback for me, for this YouTube channel, um, I always find ways to deal with it, same for when I was doing my course, um, for my book and, and some of the other projects I was doing, you know, there were setbacks, like some weeks or some days I'd have to go do something, um, whether it's family orientated or, um, 
or something to do with like my partner or um or just something in general I needed to do uh, for instance like clean my room or something <laughs> usually I keep my room pretty tidy but um yeah those those things that I needed to do or sort out my cupboard or something like that that I need those setbacks that stop me from illustrating for a certain period of time whether it was a whole day or um it was for the whole weekend or something um I would you know every week or from week to week I'd deal with that you know I would pull pull more time from the week if I had something on the weekend I'd yeah I'd basically pull more time so whatever um I needed to do so basically like not watch anything at night just do illustration and creation um all day till I would probably go to about 10 p.m. ish every night or 9 p.m. Um, keep creating, wake up early, do some stuff um, if I can. It depends. If I was going to bed nine, I'd wake up early, get stuff done. Um, yeah, and keep illustrating, keep creating <laughs> all the day or designing or whatever I was doing. Um, yeah, I'd pull more time during the week, and then on the weekend. Um, I would have that to do or whatever I had to go do um, and then you know the next week would come and then I'd have the actual weekend I'd still pull some time during the week but I'll also you know take that time on the weekend um, it does get tiring at times you know you're, you're waking up early every day or something you get really tired by Friday or something <laughs> um, so it does get you know tiring but again through it, you know, just being able to create stuff and um, just getting the deadlines in and everything like that. That was, you know, your real motivation to get it done. Um, obviously, there were some times during the course, uh, for the course in particular, that I would just relax kind of a thing and I could do basically less hours of creating and designing and stuff um and yeah just chillax it's the same with like my youtube um and the creation of this stuff that i do at the moment um there are times where i've really got to focus and create and, and keep going um to get you know the next video sorted and there are times where i can just chillax chill back um and just paint at my own rate there's no rush i've got a video for this week um i just have to keep painting keep creating so i can keep up with everything um and yeah you know there's up and downs um i feel like it has to be that way i mean i can't i'm not a robot i can't 100 percent um create all the time 24 7 there are falls and things that um cut in the way like being sick and um you know things that happen um within our family and, and things like that you know you know emotions as well you know if um i'm not feeling the best i might not feel like creating um, I just, you know, looking after family and stuff like that, so, there's those things that do, um, you know, stop me on my tracks, I guess, on, on reaching, um, well, I wouldn't say stop, but put a little hold on it, I guess, um, but, yeah, you just get through it, and, you know, eventually, it, you know, you get back on track, um, I mean, there's been many falls and many, um, things, but I've gone through it, I've passed all my courses, um, I'm definitely, you know, heading towards the right way of, you know, creating my stuff, uh, for maybe my YouTube, I'm like, I'm not 100% sure, because I do like creating these YouTube videos, um, but if it is, you know, with this whole new thing that's coming about if it is gonna create any issues at all with my channel um, then it's like well what do I do now do I 
I still want to create the videos uh, do I create them for say another channel or something like Vimeo or Daily Motion or something like that um, or have them say on my Facebook or something like that I don't know um, but yeah it's like well you know I want them in different places um, at different times <laughs> So it's interesting, I do like talking to creators out there in the world, um, artists and illustrators. I really enjoy, you know, creating stuff um, and it keeps me motivated because, um, you know, my goal obviously is to keep these videos going, to keep one, one streaming video and one weekly tips video so two videos a week keep them posting up keep them going um you know just keeping those you know <laughs> going is you know my main goal so in that it also helps me to keep creating stuff um you know creating paintings for these for this um this channel this feed these videos yeah it just keeps me painting it makes sure that I'm in line and, and it keeps towards my goal rather than just chillaxing and you know creating maybe one painting a month if I'm lucky and you know kind of slowly towards my goal doing this channel doing this these videos it's it's advancing that it's making sure that I'm doing the most I can obviously I've got some time restraints but I still manage to create a video each week um, I still manage to paint each week um, and keep creating and keep going um, it just it, it does take time but it um, you know it advances a little bit more than just kind of chillaxing and creating a painting when I feel like it kind of a thing um, it is it is challenging obviously um but it's totally worth it i learned so much more um by doing this there are fails there are obviously paintings that i've done um they are not the best and you know looking at them it's like well, okay well maybe i could fix this um i'm still learning you know it's 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 challenging that too you know um always learning you know it's challenging it's like you learn so much when are you ever going to get to that stage that you're like i've learned everything i'm the master um and even if you do think that you're like the master at it something comes up and you know you might fail at doing something and it sets you right back to like oh i'm not that great anymore you know but um always you know I've always got something to learn and I love like learning something new um, I keep it I try and keep an open mind as much as I can um, I'm just happy to learn I know I fail at some things there's nothing wrong with that and I'm accepting that I mean it's been it it is hard to accept um, failing you know failing things and um you know failing a painting maybe or you know for instance the scaling on this creature here i still feel like it's not exactly perfect <laughs> you know i still feel like it could be better um but in the end i I'm, i am happy with it but i feel like that i could have done a little bit better um but it might have took it a little bit more time too. And there are some things that I'm looking at. Maybe, you know, like how it looks. I could have fixed up a little bit further. Um, but, you know, I've done scales for so long. I've done feathers and, and fur. And it still feels like I'm learning things as I go as well. Like, I mean grass has gotten better I think fur has gotten better but there's always things I'm learning about me painting fur um, it, it's always challenging I'm always learning new things 
I'm I'm never going to be a master and that's it, that's all right you know I'm okay with that um not being a master <laughs> I'm I'm happy with always being a learner um a grower even if I do get to a level where you see my work and you think I'm a master at it or someone thinks I'm a master at it I'll probably be like oh you know this could be better or something like that I definitely know you know looking back at previous works or something um, they have definitely gotten better at what I do you know since you know day one or something um, I've definitely gotten better um, at this stuff that I do I've gotten better at creating um, creatures out of my head that are a little bit more realistic um, obviously using a little bit of reference and things like that but I feel I've got better you know this is obviously a creature that doesn't exist um, and yeah, I th I feel like I've depicted him the best of my ability that I can. Um, so that's the main thing. And, you know, eventually I'll come back two years later or a year later or something. Um, I may go over it. <laughs> or I may create something similar and it will look way better. But that's the thing about, you know, always growing, always creating. Um, also some setbacks as well as doing, I do schoolism, so I watch schoolism, um, each month or so, and I try and keep that up, try to keep, uh, watching those and keep going through those courses. If there are exercises I can fit into these videos, I will do them. There has been some that I've done before, some creatures that I've created have been from some of the courses that I've done, some of the um, characters and some of the, the things I've done in the past, those things have been directed from those schoolism courses. Um, some I feed through doing these projects that I've got going on. Um, this was just fun, this, this project here was just me taking the first Inktober drawing and, and drawing and do making it into a full illustration. Um, so, you know, those kind of things um, have helped. But, yeah, I obviously, obviously this YouTube is important. Um, but also, you know, learning stuff on those schoolism stuff and and online is important to me. And same with watching the chew streams and things like that um those are important because i learn a lot about like artists out there their their struggles and and what's important to keep doing and um how to in, improve and how to you know keep on my journey they have you know some of these videos that i've been watching on the chew stream channel have been very helpful to you know what's going on with um personal life even you know like stuff like that you know it's um learning about setbacks and things and dealing with you know having a family and illustrating um friends family whatever and illustrating as well um those kind of things as well you know i learned a lot about that kind of thing uh, so it's really helpful to watch those videos, but it's really hard to schedule them in because when I get home, usually I just feel like playing a game for a little bit, and then I'd be, you know, listening to music and painting or, or watching a show and painting or, or something like that. One of the two. Um, I don't exactly in their mindset to listen to... Uh, schoolism streams or uh two streams whatever it is but so that eventually takes its toll and you know that gets me behind so i've got to slowly catch up with those two streams usually what i do is try and get me caught up with the two streams first 
there's no two streams to watch, then I watch the schoolism. Um, and at the moment I'm quite behind, <laughs> so I'm still trying to catch up with the school, um, the two stream. Um, but every now and again I'll be like, oh well, I'll just go watch schoolism as well. Um, rather than be like, oh, I'm not caught up in two stream. Um, so I just watch schoolism. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, it depends, it all depends on how I feel, um, I mean, s depends, yeah, if, if I'm, you know, in the mood for listening to that kind of schoolism and learning and stuff, um, I'll go for it as soon as I can, you know, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm doing the Daniel Ariaga course, so it's a little bit different to what I'm doing at the moment, you know, character design. Um, but it does it does kind of feed into what I do at the moment a little bit. Um, definitely, a lot of his, you know, I'm going through the different lessons. A lot of his earlier lessons have um, the later lessons are really helpful as well. So I'm just slowly going through them, um, and. As I finish that course, because I'm not too far, I probably like three or four hours of listening. Um, like I said, sometimes I do do the the experiments, the class courses stuff that um, the assignments. Sometimes I do them um, if I can. Sometimes I don't. I'll probably if I if I need another break from the book as well. Um, I will probably do another schoolism course assignment for one of these videos. It's very helpful to do that in one of these videos as well, like going the extra step of actually finishing off, polishing off and something like that would be really helpful to do. I'll probably actually do that um, either probably during, um, while I'm halfway through the book or something some, at some point, or when I've fully finished um, the book, I will then like polish it off and then do so, keep going with the schoolism course stuff and get those on these two streams. Oh, these <laughs> my streams, my illustration streams that I do. Um, that I do. Uh, so I keep that going. I have done quite a few of those schoolism um, assignments on these streams. Uh, also we really helpful to do um but yeah that's another setback too is uh keep you know on my book you know having these breaks these like you know st stopping to do this illustration or doing another illustration um this little setback setback from actually finishing my book um and i mean that's kind of in a way a good setback for me because it has helped me learn a little bit um, to grow and uh, keep creating and stuff like that. I, you know, getting I was getting a bit over kind of creating um, my book for so long that I'm getting over it. You know, I just want it to be finished. Um, so having that little break um, has helped. I'm back on my book. I'm back on track. I'm on page six. You know, six. And I'm still creating it at the moment, um, and you know it. It's all right, you know. It, I come back with fresh eyes. I'm not so over it that I'm like, you know, I'm over. It, it felt. It feels like it's been forever since I've actually painted my book, even though it's only been like a month or so or less than that. But it, it just feels like forever, so it gives me that thing like it's a fresh new project it feels like it's a fresh new project again um it's not me doing the same old thing every day end out in in day that i get absolutely sick of it um and yeah that's what i enjoy about you know creating and, and illustrating is that whole um creating something new all the time you know every month also, create, always creating something new and drawing something exciting. Um, me doing, at the moment I'm doing these challenges every day. I'm grabbing a word just from my memory banks or wherever I find the word and write it down. 
for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, oh, four days a week, sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, I'm just writing those down, and then I'm drawing a word, that word, and posting to Instagram, and it's been really, really helpful to do that, because it's still, you know, it's guiding me, rather than me sitting there and being like, I'm drawing for 45 minutes, and then deciding what to draw, whether I grab um, some reference from the tablet, or I just draw something um, interesting, it, it guides me, I'm like, oh, this word, and then I draw the word, um, so it, it's really helpful to do um, that, it guides me towards a little bit of a goal of actually creating something, sometimes it may only take 5 or 10 minutes to do the actual drawing, but then from there I feel much better to keep drawing other things and keep creating other things. I'm thinking about maybe, you know, for each day, have the word, but then create like 20, like a whole page of different ideas for that word, rather than creating like one one drawing. Um, so I may do that, we'll see how it goes, how I go on it. Um, I may do that, I may not, I may do it for one day and then can do different other things. But we'll see how we go, it definitely helps to have that word. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, my piece here that you see on, on screen, the final piece. Um, I talked a little bit about my, some falls and some setbacks that I've had, um, yeah, that I've had in my life, you know, those things that go on and, you know, how you get through them as well. I haven't gone into great detail about it, but, you know, I would like to go into more detail and things, um, in later videos, I've just kind of touched the iceberg of it, but, you know, you keep on track, keep painting, keep creating, um, yeah, and feel free to like, share, subscribe, as you do, um, if you have any falls or setbacks that you'd like to mention down below um feel free to it's an open area i mean i don't want anyone to get offended or anything like that down there as well if they do kind of say something kind of personal and it does you know i don't want that to happen so just you know keep it safe um and if you do want to share something feel free to share it down there or feel free to reach out personally to me um, I'd love that too. Thanks for coming in, and yeah, we'll keep creating, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.